Welcome to another exciting episode of Michael Insight. Today, things are getting so much better mentally that being in the house all day, oh, quick car change since last time. Okay, so today we're going to try and do a little bit of home therapy to try and make our minds off the fact that we can't go out the house anywhere. And for those that don't know, this is actually April 2020. And uh, the reason I'm putting the date is simply because the uh, life events are that coronavirus has gone mad all over the world and we have to quarantine ourselves inside the house. Now, what are we going to do inside the house? Well, rather than crack each other's heads open and feed on the goo inside, we need to uh, basically find occupations or occupational therapy to keep us going and, uh, you know, make us not go mad. So, uh, or any more so than we currently are. So anyway... Why am I showing a picture of some sort of gun? No, I'm not going to go out and start shooting people because I'm going crazy. No, I'm decided, I've decided I'm going to uh, spray paint my kitchen. And this is my kitchen and uh, it is a bit of a mess, obviously, because I'm doing some painting. I've already painted the walls. It's a nice magnolia, nice and neutral. And I've uh, started to uh, do some of the uh, ceiling, just regular white. It's a little bit patchy because some of it's wet, some of it's dry, just going around the edges. I just kind of wanted to show you that a lot of people just don't really like painting. And it's understandably why, simply because it is very tedious, very boring, very monotonous, and it can be very, very tiring and painful on our repetitive uh, dominant arm. Uh, for example, I'm right arm, right, right handed, right arm. Uh, like most people in the world and uh, you know going with a brush it can get really messy it can get really quite tiresome so I'm just showing you an idea now obviously I've used this gun that's re really messy uh, but I'm just kind of showing you it because um, I, I kind of want to show you how it actually works always remember to wear some eyewear I've got these goggles not the best I actually had sealed goggles but I don't know where they are in my household mess. they're better wearing a mask I'm not but you know I live on the wild side, man. So, let's go. So I'm not going to make this all nice and pretty for everybody. Uh, you know, I'm not going to just start going there. So I have this on an extension cord. So I'm just kind of going to very, very quickly show you how it kind of works. So here's the gun here. And it's just like a regular trigger. You've got low pressure, high pressure and uh, different kind of uh, directions the way the spray goes. This is a kind of up and down kind of way. But uh, yeah, this one was, was one like what, 35 quid or something. Obviously you can spend far more to get a far better gun, but I'll just kind of show you how it goes. Here we are. <laughs> Nearly fell off there. You know, it needs a bit of a clean, sometimes you need to clean it every now and again, see, see what happens there. Kind of clogged up there, so I have to kind of lock it through. There's another analogy there, just when you think you're trying to get something done, your, your, your intentions are great, but then, you know, the more you push, the more you push, the little it seems getting through. All your labour seems to come to a kind of, kind of slow process. So that's enough for now. Um, obviously, I'm not going to show you me doing my entire ceiling, but obviously I have what tops here. I'm on a ladder, and it's very difficult to get in there. I need to jump on top of the the uh, top in order to get right into above the what top. So 
once I've kind of done that, it'll be a lot easier. But the reason I'm showing you is not to obviously tell you how great my kitchen is or how great it's going to be. It's really just to kind of show you, well, look what you can do. Um, and if you notice, if you notice up there there's no dripping. I've kind of, it's okay. In ten, I, you don't, I'm not sure yet if it's going to need uh, two coats. I'm hoping it's just going to be the one because it is very monotonous. It is very, uh, you know, and it is actually quite you know, uh, aching on the arms. But hey, you saves me doing weight training then, isn't it? A lot of people want to get in exercise, they want to do the they want to do their um exercises, they want to do running, they want to do weight training, etc. Well this is this is, you know swap your arms around and you get in your weight training. I'm telling you it's it's, it's hard stuff. But I would recommend using the spray paint more than using uh, uh conventional brushes or rollers. I find rollers horrible they sputter everywhere they cause a lot of mess i've not you know you can see obviously my footprints and stuff on here because i've had to go up top but that's just a case of just cleaning it down with you know some um just some regular cleaner kitchen cleaner kitchen work top cleaner and of course anything you're going to do obviously masking tape i don't know if you can see it but i have put masking tape up there it should be a lot easier um but uh, i definitely recommend using a spray gun i've used a hot fourth one uh, got about 35 quid on eBay. Um, it's okay, but again, if you're going to be doing it repetitively, I would suggest getting something a bit more substantial. Pay extra to get something better, simply because um, I feel that this one, if you're going to really be doing painting a lot, I wouldn't want to be going over it repetitively over and over. However, this video is most not actually a review on this Hawk Force one, believe it or not. I'm not getting paid or anything like that. Um, I'm really just uh, giving people tips, ideas, and how to actually facilitate their own home, home occupational therapy. In this case, for me, it is uh, painting uh, something, uh, painting a room, quite a large room. It is quite quite large. Uh, I don't uh, I don't uh, really hope to do anything like this again in the near future because, I, as I say, it's quite it's quite hard work. Um, not problem with hard work. It's just as I say, it's uh, takes a lot out of you, takes a lot of the day. But you know, if you've got some music on in the background, it can be really useful. Um, but as I say, we, these are challenging times for us mentally as well as uh, physically and health wise. You know, because mental health is, uh, as we say, very very important. Relationships, etc. If you can get people to help you on this, fantastic. Clear clear the room out. Um, fix the mask and tape, anything like that, that's great. And again, why am I saying that? Because there might come times where people are actually wanting to isolate themselves from other people in the same house that they have to isolate themselves in because they can't all can't go outside. So again, it's more tips on actually how to keep going, how to keep going on a daily basis you know, I'm not the type of person that likes to decorate every five years. I know some people like to do that. Some people get very restless. They start looking around. They want to move the furniture around and things like that. To me, that's a sign of just general dissatisfaction in, in life. You kind of look for problems. There's no need to look for problems. We can really get the best out of ourselves when we're just content. Now, obviously, if you look here, um, I'm not really happy with the fact that this is a new ceiling put in place, uh, the leak. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to have to do this painting and I want to do it right first time so I don't have to do it for a long, long time. It was either that or pay someone to do it. I'm saving myself quite a few hundred pounds of actually just doing it myself. But the idea, the mental idea of rolling, using rollers, paint, the splattering everywhere, the mess, uh, the second coat, it was just horrible. And I understand where people come from, where maybe they don't want to apply themselves. They don't want to apply themselves when it comes to thinking about something that is just monotonous and tedious. In my example, painting. People can't stand painting fences. So, for example, uh, you've got the Ron C. Lyra says, I don't want to paint this fence. I only want to do one coat and that's it. Get done. But being honest, painting is not fun for a lot of people. Uh, I might as well just show you the bit I've done most of. As you say, it's, it's kind of drying. I might have to do another coat, I'm not entirely sure. But hey, it's more therapy and therefore more fun.
while we're in the house finding things to do. So I hope when people look at this gun they don't get any dodgy ideas. Only good ideas, only good productive ideas of uh, taking on instead of taking out. So taking on the good old house jobs and I just hope that I've given some people a bit of inspiration uh, mental wise, you know, if I can do it, by God, anybody else can do it. As long as they've got functional arms and limbs and they're healthy physically to do this. It's the get up and go that is actually very difficult. The get up and go of actually wanting to do some work and get the drive going. But actually, once you've actually got going, it's the initial acceleration I find difficult. And I'm sure a lot of other people find difficult. Getting it into the first gear, second gear. But see, once you get into third and fourth, so you're okay. That's where I find them all right. And so, you know, I've got around, you know, it's a bit like doing a jigsaw pit puzzle. You go around the rims of it, you do to get the corners, you do the outsides first, and then you start looking. I mean, I've gone through these right lights, you know, I didn't want to um, unscrew them all off. I've just unscrewed them slightly. I put some masking tape down so I don't actually get it on the lights. And uh, yeah, so that's good constructive thinking. You know, it's a problem solver. So. It's about putting that problem solving into action. And for me, I'm happy I've at least gone off my backside to do it. I, God knows nobody else in the house was going to do it. So uh, here I am, and I hope I've inspired some people to have watched this, to, to, have, uh, to do that, that room that needs painted, or do that plastering, or it could be, it could be washing the car, it could be anything. Because at the end of the day, we need occupation, we need tasks to do in order to keep ourselves going. We can't sit around watching television all the time or arguing with each other because we're bored and we're stressed. Or st we're stressed because we're underutilized. A lot of people don't realize that we're stressed because we can get underutilized. And that's why maybe some monotonous jobs in this world can actually make us very stressed, unfulfilled, we're unchallenged. I've had that in my life several times. You know, I'm, I'm okay now. Well, not working right now because uh, not that we go out of the house, but we'll be, uh, I'm in a better place uh, vocationally and, you know, I, I actively encourage other people to uh, make goals um, and I'll do another video on, or another vlog on, uh, on videos, uh, sorry, on uh, goals and um, how we can do it. Start a YouTube channel. Well, lot everybody wants to sit and watch, I mean, I'm not saying don't watch television at all. I obviously want you to to listen to my podcast. But the great thing about mine is that you can actually listen to it and do something at the same time. You don't really have to do an awful lot uh, with it to engage with my uh, with, with my vlogs. A lot of it is mostly verbal, audible. Um, but in this case, you know, I'm really just having this staring at a gun. Again, don't get any ideas other than painting. And don't paint at other people because you could blind someone. And uh, please um, give it a good idea, give it a thought. Uh, think of anything, any kind of household task, any kind of maintenance tasks, building tasks, anything at all. Um, so I hope this has been very inspiring to other people. Uh, it may, you might even create a new role for yourself because again, roles is a, a thing. Are you the person? Are you the person who's constantly looking after the house? Are you the one that's out of the house usually, and you don't usually do any DIY? Well, this is a great opportunity for you now to actually lift up something and do some research. YouTube is a fantastic. Uh, there's lots of videos out there to help you learn how to do these things. Picking up the right tool to do it. In this occasion, this is something that's relatively new. Uh, people usually think of going to use a, a paintbrush or rollers in order to paint such a, a vast amount of uh, surface area. But me, get a spray painter and get one that's got very good reviews and very good um, spray area and, and pay extra for it because I'd rather spend 50 to £100. I don't know about £100, but I'd rather spend up to about £50 around, around about in order to get me a really good tool that's going to help me do it rather than spend over several hundred pounds to get someone to come in and do it. Um, especially nowadays when we have the opportunity and you'll save yourself some money. So fantastic uh, inspiration, I hope, for everybody. So this is Michael, this is Michael Insight. Michael out.